All right, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the part two build of our L-shaped desk. So, first things first, let's get some protection on. Let's put on our kitchen bib. I actually love this thing. It may look kind of gooberish, but look at all the pockets and it keeps everything clean. What a great little shop coat. Um, so today's build, we're gonna work on the cabinet itself with the drawers, and we're gonna work on the desktop itself. The cabinet is going to be built without any three quarter inch plywood. The two end pieces, we're gonna shaker them um, using quarter inch and three quarter inch. Uh, so basically this will be my outer frame and then I'll just use three quarter inch or quarter inch to fill in the gap on my uh, shaker panels. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. First things first, let's uh, rip ourselves some two by four and then let's get to work on the side cabinets. like that, I got myself some functional lumber. Let's consult the drawing here and let's, uh, let's talk about what we're trying to accomplish. All right, here's the professional CAD drawing that I'm working off of, believe it or not. And this is what we're working on right now. We're gonna make these end panels, this shaker style. So I need to cut my rails and I need to cut my styles uh, I'm going to use a full 2x4 along the bottom here and a full 2x4 along the bottom here so that I have some strength to put some, screw some foot legs in. And then this piece here and the piece that will go in the front here will be uh, nice wood, including down here. My front, So this will be my framing. I am going to make them all flush so that I can maximize the width of my drawer. Uh, and then these will be all the ripped two by fours for added support back here. And then I'll use half inch plywood here and I'll use a half inch plywood here. This is where going to be the computer uh, area where the mid, where the mid tower computer would go with a full flipper door. We're going to get to that shortly. So that's the CAD drawing. Let's put it to work. All right, we cut our styles and rails. Let's try and do a dry fit. I don't think you wanted to watch me cut a piece of plywood. All right, so these are gonna be the, actually it's gonna go this way. Oop. Probably could have made these a little tighter, but this will work. These are going to be my two end caps to my cabinets. I'll be able to put my uh, soft close uh, rails along to these two attachments here on the inside. And uh, yeah, so the dry fit is good enough. Perhaps not great, wish I could do it over again, but yeah, they're tight enough. All right, so next step up, we glue up and then we move on to putting them all pieces together. Sounds reasonable. Follow along. Thanks. All right, the largest board that Home Depot sells, the widest board, is 11 and a quarter inches. To fit my opening over here, this flipper door needs to be 12 inches. 
So for that three quarter of an inch shortfall, I had to go and glue two panels together. So I used a little plaster um, wax paper to keep the glue from sticking to my board straighteners. So let's tear this thing apart and see if it looks like I can rip it to 12 inches. All right, now I got to tell you, for Home Depot boards and uh, old table saw, gluing those two pieces together, using my table saw to give me a clean edge, because I don't have a joiner. I mean, if we take a close look, you can see where my seam is, but it actually did a really good job at closing up that gap. You don't think you can tell where the joint is. So all I got to do is cut 12 inches off this board and that will give me my front computer flipper door. Pretty cool. All right. All right. We've, we've come to the most exciting part of the build. That's the desktop itself. Now I already made the drawers uh, and I even made the drawer fronts. Uh, I was going to make a video out of this, but there are so many videos on how to make drawers that they do a much better job at it than I do. So I didn't cover that. Uh, the only thing that I did to make my drawer fronts, because I decided I wasn't going to go with rails and styles because I'm not very good at it. Uh, so I just took my table saw and put the blade at a 15 degree angle and I cut a panel into my door. It's a poor man's cheap way of doing it, but it came out really good. So. I'm kind of pleased with what this will look like. So the game plan here for the desktop itself is first, I have a four by eight sheet of birch plywood that I just picked up from Home Depot. Uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a big piece out of it here to a rough opening, giving me my basic L shape so that now I can get in there and I can actually work a little bit easier. Uh, once I have that cut, I'm gonna turn the whole thing over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this first strip all around the perimeter. This first strip is going to accomplish a couple things. One is that it's going to give more rigidity to the desktop itself. I don't plan on sitting on it, uh, but certainly kick your legs back and lean on it or stuff like that. So I want to add a little bit more rigidity to it. But the other thing that it will do is it will now give me an inch and a half thick. Once I'm an inch and a half thick, what I'll do is I'll take this poplar and I'll cut a little over inch and a half uh, strips off of this and I'll glue them to the now edge and I'll have the poplar rise just above this top surface of the desk itself because then I'll just go around it with my uh, tr um, trim router and um, make it nice and, and, and smooth. Once I do that, then I'll go back and I'll, I'll do a quarter round on both the top and the bottom of my now poplar edge, giving me a full rounded bull nose on it. You know, there are a lot of nicer edges that perhaps we could do, but this is the most functional. Uh, I don't have any sharp edges if I'm leaning on it or have to worry about dinging corners. And No, just give me a nice round edge and uh, I think that that's going to come out pretty good. All right, we're making progress. Made a rough cut. Put down our first strips as planned. That's where the corner leg is going to go. And we'll also see a notch that will be cut out of that corner for one of those arms to hold a monitor. Yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, first strips, first strips. And we have our notch right here. We'll take our leg, We've got a little key here, this key is going to fit in here somehow, and then we'll put a couple L brackets there to kind of hold it all in place. Yeah, baby. got ourselves a plan. All right, so here's what I did. I put tape around the whole top of the desk, made my lines, used my circular saw. No, I don't have a track saw. Uh, and this is just to show off that I cut it straight. And the tape basically protects the 
plywood from any tear out or damage. And my circular saw surprisingly did a pretty good job. Next, what I'll do is I'll take some poplar, rip it to just over inch and a half and glue it around the whole perimeter of the desktop itself. I don't think you want to watch me cut poplar, so I just went and did it. And here's what it looks like. Then, after I put the edging on, I put tape around the whole top again. The purpose of the tape is you'll note that I applied the edging just above the surface of the top of the desk. The tape is going to come in handy when I use my trim router. You'll run the bearing along the tape so that when you're done, the trim will be just above the surface of the top by the thickness of the tape. Then I'll get my quarter round and uh, round the whole thing. Uh, you want to see me do that? Uh, okay, watch me quarter round the top. Now, by all means, feel free to leave comments below if you think we could have done something better or if you would have done things a little different or any tips that anybody else might benefit from. Uh, feel free to leave comments below. So the routing, uh, I just did the top of about a quarter and then I also routed the bottom with a smaller uh, smooth edging. <clears throat> it came up pretty good. Uh, any gaps as few as there were, I just took some sawdust, mixed it up with some glue and put it down. <clears throat> now with the fit with the desktop face down, that's where the cabinet would basically go. I'm going to put a pull out drawer for keyboard and then I also built a drawer for pencils. It will go right about there. You can see my corner leg made from video one and my end leg. Now it looks dusty and it is. It looks actually a whole lot better when it's clean. So don't judge my finished piece just yet. 